Hi Denise, uh, we're just going to examine your next birdie, which I believe is called Skinhead, because uh, uh, she was an escapee and got attacked by other birds Correct. and was basically scalped. Yes. <laughs> made a wonderful recovery some long time ago. Hi Skinhead, hi Sweetie. Hi beautiful. Hi beautiful. Hi beautiful. Come on. Come on. Hi Tom. Now, I'm just going to have a little look at, look at her. Right at the moment, her, her nostrils are uh, so steady, steady. I just have to. Um, they look a little bit reddish, uh, a little bit inflamed, but they're not not blocked. Although she's got a little bit of debris in the left nostril. I can see a little bit of debris in the left nostril, so I'd normally clean that out with a barb needle in a moment. So it looks like she's been sneezing from that side more than this side. Is that correct? Correct. Right, okay. Um, so we call that uh, sinusitis. You know, it's likely to be an upper respiratory tract infection unless the debris is a, uh, a seed husk. But I don't think it is, but we'll have a look with the magnifying lens in a moment. Just feeling her, gen her crop. Um, that, feels okay. that feels okay. I'm not feeling any... Um, um, mat of rope in there even though she's got all these hazardous toys at the moment. Um, her pectoral muscles are well rounded and in good body condition. The sternum, I haven't seen if it's straight but it feels okay. Um, no, it's got a, an, a ding in it in about there where she's had a crash or two in the past. I can feel a I could wet it down and show it to you but I'm just telling you what I'm feeling. Sure. But there is, when you run your finger down the sternum it's not there's a indentation right there, uh, from presumably from an old injury. Um, right, coming down her abdomen, um, she has a small mass um, on the abdomen, and I will wet down her tummy so that we can have a look at this. But I'm feeling a, oh, we can see it under there. Right, I could feel it. So we're going to have a close look at that, but that is not normal. Uh, I'll just um, get a little bit of heavy cleanse and use that to moisten the feathers and so we can have a closer look. So I'm just going to wet down a few feathers. This is a, a disinfectant that we often use on birds prior to surgery. But in this case we're just going to... Um, Right, there's the ding that I was ta talking about. You can see the see the, um, the the callus and the irregularity where she's had a major crash at some time in the past and um, has a deformity of her breastbone. Uh, that's that part. Now we're going to just keep parting the feathers and we'll come down to this fatty mass. It looks like what we call an exanthoma and it looks like a benign tumour. Uh, and the fact that it's undergone this degree of change on the surface means that it's been sitting there for a long time. It hasn't just happened. Or you wouldn't have this pale, pale fat um, in there. Just stay, stay calm, sweetie. You're being very, very good. So um, I'm now just having a feel under, under it. And it feels like there is a... small hernia I think. I think this is probably a small hernia rather than a, a fatty tumour. It feels fatty under that but I can actually um, reduce the size of that a lot by just massaging it. It's like a belly button that's popped out. Yep. Right? Um, umbilical hernia only this is not an umbilical hernia but it feels similar. She has been diagnosed I think with that in the past. Right yep. so well what's happened is that the well, the weight of her intestines and so forth, whatever, it felt like fat that had come through the little hernia, mm -hmm. um, has been pressing on the underside of the skin yep. and reducing the blood supply to this pale yellow area of skin. And the body responds to that by depositing what appears to be cholesterol-like plaque material. Mm -hmm. And we then call that an exanthomatous skin change. Yep. All right? So... 
Um, it's not urgent, but at some stage we may look at repairing the underlying hernia. Mm -hmm. So it's an abdominal hernia, in my, as far as I can judge. I thought it was originally a lipoma, but I think because it's reducible, it's likely to be an abdominal hernia. All right? Okay. And if she were to go into egg laying, it would put extra stress on the hernia and increase the risk of complications. Mm -hmm. All right? Has she had surgery on the abdomen before? No. Right. Okay. But sometimes when they've had exploratory <laughs> surgery for other, other things, um, problems like that, uh, sometimes the stitches don't hold completely. Mm -hmm. And it can be the result of exploratory surgery, it can be the result of flying into a sharp branch or a twig, mm -hmm. it can be the result of um, a peck wound. Um, the structure of her feathers appears normal. I'm very happy with uh, the general level there. I'm happy with her tail, except this long, uh, this long quill is a little bit unusual. Uh, it's quite unusual. Uh, most cockatiels, by the time a feather has got to that length, will have preened off the tip, like that. 